Today, we're gonna to be doing an in-depth look at the edge split modifier. So here we have a scene with a very ugly, smooth cube, right? You tab and you can just see it's a basic cube. Well, let's talk about what the edge split modifier does. So as we apply this, you can see it looks like the smooth has been taken off, but what really is happening, let's apply this, tab out of that, is it's separating these different faces. So if I grab this face, it splits along those edges, creating basically an island in it in and of itself. Um, this is an extremely, extremely useful modifier that I use in a lot of different varieties. So for example, let me show you this really fast. Let's just create a cylinder, tab in, and let's make this thing crazy. So extrude this, extrude this, etc. Now, if I try and smooth this, you're gonna get some really strange looking things like this, right? That is not what I want, but if I add the edge split modifier, you can see we get all the benefits of smoothing as well as all the benefits of um, having it be low polygon. Now you can see right here, there's some artifacts. So let's actually take this moment to talk about the different settings. There's only two settings. There's an edge angle, which changes the angle in which it is going to be split. And so you can kind of increase that or decrease that according to your needs. But then there's also sharp edges. So if I tab into this, let's go ahead and select this edge and then go control E, add sharp edge, mark sharp, and then alt right click here add sharp. All right. Now, if I turn off the edge angle, you can see it only puts the sharp on those sharp angles. So it's very useful. Now, something that's even more useful, let's go ahead and talk about baking. Here you have three different cubes. You have a cube that is just a smooth, ugly, generic cube. Here you have a cube that has the edge splits. And here you have a high polygon subdivided cube. What I want to do is I'm going to take this first cube and bake it with the second cube, and you'll see the results are this. Now, within Unity, there's these weird dippling effects, and that's because it's trying to extrapolate a smooth edge with the actual cube. If you look at the normal map, it's all sorts of crazy, right? Well, let's do the same thing, but let's take the edge split cube, and then let's bake it with the high polygon. Now, when you do this, you must make sure that the edge splits actually each have a UV seam as well. So we've already done that. Let's go ahead and bake this out and look at that, and there you go. You can see it looks a lot better, except it has these strange little like lines right here, if you can see that. What's causing that, let's look at the normal map, is there are no, there's no margins in between the UV seams. You want to have a little bit of margin. So I'm going to do this again with a margin. So here I have a edge split cube. Here I have my high polygon and we bake it. And you can't even tell the difference between these. Let's go ahead and jump into Unity and look at all of these three-dimensionally instead of just two-dimensionally. So in Unity, you can see here is the, the basically smooth curve without the edge splits, and you can see that the normal maps are going all sorts of crazy. Let's go ahead and turn this one off. Let's turn, I think this is the one. So you can see here's the one, the edge split without the islands. And you can see how it's very, there's big seams. Let's go ahead and turn that one off. And let's look at the one, this is the high polygon one. And now let's see if you can tell a difference, high polygon, and go over here. And this is the non high polygon. This is the edge split one. If we go into, let's turn this, not that, right here, wireframe. You can see it's a simple wireframe like that. And it looks almost identical to the actual high polygon cube. Look at that. And so this is extremely useful. Like I said, um, that's the edge split modifier. Very simple, but very useful. Um, I'm going to go ahead and link at the end of this video a few videos that you might like to watch that I actually use edge split quite a bit. So as always, like, subscribe, thumbs up, bell notification, comment below, all that good stuff. You guys are the best. I hope you enjoyed this video. Have an awesome day. See you around. Bye.